Welcome back. I am Sarah with Imagination Living and this video is about a one day juice cleanse. Yay! So I have been feeling pretty ugh, lately. Um, stomach's been real, just like every time I eat, I have a pain at the upper part of my stomach and I haven't been eating real great. Um, those of you that follow my channel know I'm big on juicing occasionally. I don't do it all the time, but I definitely had this aha moment today where I've got to do something. So I went online and I found a really cool blog from Ashley Lillis, and I will put the link below in the description with a one day juice cleanse, which is perfect because I normally like to do two and three days, but I don't have two or three days right now. So I figure one day it's awesome. Very simple, not a whole lot of food is involved. So her recipe, and I've never done this before, so this is my first time doing it, consists of three different juices. You'll take one, which is a lean green, one beet it juice, which is obviously beets, a revive, and then she also has a calm for at the end of the day, which is a cinnamon, date, and almond milk. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that one just yet but I have all the ingredients that I need. It's really not a whole lot. I bought pretty much everything tonight at the grocery store. I think my total was like $24. So not super expensive. I did have a couple of the items already on hand, but what will you need? You'll need two green apples. You'll need celery. So she, the recipes call for two celery stalks, but I'm a big fan of celery. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit more in there. Um, handful of kale already washed in here. I also have some spinach as well that I'm gonna mix in. We have carrots, and I've already done some of the prep work because, well, it's nighttime, I've showered, I'm ready to start winding down for the night, but I wanna be totally prepared for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the ones in the morning, so the first three, and then I'll make the other one tomorrow afternoon. Um, we have limes and lemons, I'm a fan of both, um, beets. I love beets. Some people love them, some people hate them. They are really a very acquired taste. It does have that earthy, beautiful red color. But if you're not careful, everything it touches will turn red. Countertops, fingers, clothing, everything. So when you first get it, it will come with all the leaves on it, cut off the leaves, and it is a root. They are very, very dirty. You can see how dirty it is in the bowl. So you gotta make sure you wash everything first and make sure you get all that dirt off. So important. And then we also have some ginger. And again, I will put this recipe in the description below. Um, I also have it flashed up here right now for you so you can see uh, the different recipes that are on there. But we'll go ahead and get started. Here we go. We have everything cut up now and ready to go. I like to separate everything out into what's going where so that it's easy when I start the juicer to just throw everything in there and it's ready to rock. So when I cut the celery, I did cut off the bottom. You can see you leave a couple inches down there and we will plant this outside in the raised bed and poof, we will grow more celery. Yay, very, very exciting. Also my favorite tip, and I don't remember if I learned this from somebody or if I just randomly thought of it one day, I have no idea. But when I juice, I take like a Walmart bag or a Target bag and put it inside of the actual place where all of the pulp goes. It makes for such an easy cleanup because you can just lift the bag um, from experience, make sure you check it for holes first because one time I took it up and all the food just fell out all over the floor. But it makes for great compost. Hopefully everybody's got some kind of compost. If you own a home, if you're in an apartment, that's okay. Maybe you live somewhere where they do some composting, um, but you can save that for later. And then the only other thing you will need is mason jars. So I'm going to go ahead and move over. I don't quite have my plug in yet for my island. So I do have to relocate my station over to where the outlet is. This is the fun part. Here we go. And boom, just like that, two juices. 
Okay, to be fair, between the prep for the video and getting everything set up, it didn't happen like super fast, but it's really not that hard to do. Um, again, generally I like to juice right when I'm going to drink it, but I'm not a morning person, so I went ahead and did two for the morning so that I'm ready to go. I am so thankful that you guys are on this journey with me. I will check in tomorrow and see how everything's going. Talk to you then. Good morning. So far, so good. I have had one of the lean green juices. I started off the day with a black coffee, I'm sorry, no, black tea. I didn't drink coffee. I'm actually not drinking coffee this morning. Um, it's, I usually drink it black. I don't usually put a bunch of cream or anything in it, but just decided no caffeine this morning. Let's, if we're doing this, let's do it right. So I had a black tea, I had the mean green, lean green juice, and then I'm having a green tea now. I like to have a bunch of hot stuff in mugs all morning long. So going through the tea, the other thing that we made yesterday was these infused waters. And first of all, they're really pretty. I love the way they look, um, but they do have a lot of benefits to them. These are not part of the actual one day detox. This is just something extra that I'm throwing in there. So this is a cucumber, lemon, and mint. There is almost an entire cucumber, like one of the long organic ones, half of a lemon, and about 10 mint leaves from our garden. In here infused, I did put this in yesterday, probably afternoon, and then it sat overnight. So I'm gonna taste that this morning. And then this one is a strawberry basil. So this has eight strawberries cut up into small pieces, has about eight to 10 basil leaves, and the other half of the lemon. And yes, the basil came from the garden as well. So test these out today. Um, that way it gives me a little something else to drink besides just straight water. I am very excited to taste these and I will keep you updated how it's going. It is three o'clock in the afternoon and I feel good. I feel really, really good. Um, I got a little bit hungry this morning and had to like drink the juices a little bit faster. So I think that my first one was at nine and then I ended up having another one at 1030. So I've kind of been more like on the hour and a half train, but I feel good. Brain, it's been a little foggy because I guess no coffee. I really didn't think that coffee affected me the way that it does, but all day I've kind of felt tired and hard to focus and just felt really groggy. So ew on that part, but I have a lot of energy. I don't feel tired. I don't feel weak. I just feel like my brain's a little, you know, foggy. So I am on my second beat it juice. And I've got one more, I think technically this is supposed to be the last one, but I do have one more of the Revive drink, which is the pineapple and cucumber, which by the way is so, so good. It's like my favorite one. Um, and then I'll probably make some dinner, um, you know, kind of do like a light salad or maybe just some grilled chicken for dinner. So that's the update, feeling good. I'm gonna go take a walk here in a little while. I'm not gonna do any running just because I haven't put a ton of stuff in my body today. So I don't want to like, you know, make myself sick. So I'm going to do a little walk with a podcast, see what's going on there. Shout out to my Weight Watchers people, do the walk and talks, and I will check back in here in a little while. Whew. It has been a long day. It actually wasn't that bad, but dinner is a salad with some grilled chicken on top. I didn't use any oils and I actually pulled the cucumbers out of the cucumber water. Still finishing it up, added a couple limes. One day, I can do anything for one day. That was awesome. I feel so good. I know if I do it for three and four days, it would be even better. This was a great one day kickstart. A couple takeaways that I'm definitely gonna keep doing is that water with the infused strawberries and basil. Oh my gosh, that was so good. I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, another one of my favorite things that I forgot about doing, but I'm gonna start adding back in now, is warm water with half of a lemon into it. It's a little hard to drink if you're like not into tangy, but if you do warm, not hot water, it's a lot more palatable. P.S. So thank you for watching this video on my one day juice cleanse. If you haven't already done so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more goal setting and wellness and health, all things happiness. Thank you guys, have a great day.